every two seconds, someone on Earth has a stroke. That's 15 million people a year. One every two seconds. It's the leading cause of disability in the world, and as most of you know, it's the second cause of death. Now, if you're young, keep listening. Did you know that one in four adults over the age of 25 will suffer a stroke at some point in their life? One in four of us have the potential to have a stroke at some point in our life. So that makes it very real. Now, if you think about it, the cost to society is huge. There's a financial cost. It takes a lot of money to care for these individuals over the decades of their life. But even more important than that, at least in my opinion, it's the cost to society in terms of quality of life. It's not just quality of life for the patients. It's quality of life also for their families and, in fact, their communities who also support them. Now, the problem is under treatment. A very high percentage of stroke patients are eligible for care, but yet just a fraction of them are getting adequate treatment. Now, there's multiple causes for this. Obviously, we have an access to care issue. We don't have enough hospitals. There's not a hospital on every corner on Earth. We don't have enough comprehensive stroke centers. We don't have enough primary stroke centers. We don't have enough trained neurointerventionalists. We don't have enough trained technologists. But I think actually the biggest cause simply is just patient awareness. And so that's why I think this is a good moment just to remind everybody of what you already know, that if you think you're having a stroke, you must act fast. That's an acronym, F-A-S-T. And most of you are aware of that. F, if you're having a facial droop. A, if you're having arm weakness. S, if you're having speech difficulties. Therefore, it's T, time to act fast, time to call for help. Because one of the biggest causes of undertreatment in the world is just simply that, it's time. Today, 40% of stroke patients arrive too late for treatment. Now, why is that? Well, partly, it's because of all of those handoffs that take place across the workflow in stroke care. You know, there's so much inefficiency in these handoffs, in the communication, in the diagnosis. If you think about it, from the moment that you call for emergency services to the time that you get into an ambulance and then you get to your first hospital and then you may get transferred to a comprehensive stroke center, then you may go to the ER, then you go to radiology for a CAT scan, and then if you're lucky enough and you did all this on time, you finally get to the place where the magic happens, which is our interventional suites, where strokes are actually being reversed. Now, in Philips, we have solutions across all of these pieces of this stroke workflow. And so a large part of what we're doing is to develop the technology to connect the dots across stroke care, to coordinate that care, to expedite that care. You know, it's all about time. Don't forget, time is brain. Seconds count. You're losing two million neurons every minute a stroke is in progress. And so what we're trying to do with technology is help doctors save time, save neurons, and then therefore ultimately save more lives. And now, you're in the know.